Powered flight is one of our biggest achievements. While the engineering behind modern aircraft is incredibly complicated, the basic physics of getting airborne is simpler than you might think. So the fundamentals of flight, it's really the physics of flight, deal with four very basic forces. Now there's a lot of other forces, but there are four basic forces. So you've got weight down, lift up, drag back, and thrust forward. Let's go into a bit more detail. Weight is just that. It's the mass of the aircraft or the mass of the object times the gravity. Uh, so you can imagine in a 787, just to give you an idea, it's nearly 600,000 pounds. To overcome that weight, the plane's wings do the heavy lifting. They aren't completely flat, but rather slightly bulbous, designed that air flows faster over the top and slower underneath, creating higher pressure underneath the wings that pushes the aircraft upwards. For a 600,000 pound aircraft, a lot of lift needs to be generated on takeoff to get it off the ground, this is where thrust comes in. We push the power up on the engines, and those engines create a push of airflow that pull, it pushes us forward, and we increase speed. Now, as we increase speed, we're increasing airflow over the wing, which then increases the amount of air over the wing, which increases the lift. However, as speed increases, so does drag in the opposite direction of the plane's forward motion, slowing it down and creating less lift, which pilots certainly don't want. Smart engineering with thoughtful attention to aerodynamics drastically reduces that drag. And that's why if you look at a 77 or most aircraft, the surface is smooth to decrease that friction to also decrease that drag force. These four forces are constantly playing tug of war with one another. Lift versus gravity, thrust versus drag. Aeronautical engineers and pilots consider all of them when designing and flying these massive machines. For this week's Moment of Science, I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon.